The three places that I implemented this change were one, the index.html file where the template was, two, to do view.js, and lastly, to do.js, the place where we store all of our data in our model. So I had to figure this one out too, so here's the thought process I went through. So first off, I knew I needed to add a priority button in the same place as the other buttons, our delete button and our edit button. So I had to remember where that was. Sure enough, it was in our template code, in our item template, in our index.html file. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the edit button and I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna give it a class of priority button. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and test this. Sure enough, in the browser, it works just fine. When you roll over, there's a little exclamation point. And when you click on it, nothing really happens. Of course, that's not unexpected. We haven't wired it up yet. So now we have to remember, where did we wire up those other buttons? That's right, it was in our to do view.js. If I scroll down just a teeny bit, it was in this events object literal. I can put it anywhere I want in this entire object literal, but I'll go ahead and put it right here. So what's the event? The event is going to be a click because when I click on the priority button, I want something to happen. How do I get to the button? Dot priority button. And what's the functionality? Well, gosh, I do not know, actually. There's no function down here that toggles the priority of a button. And that's, of course, because it's a new feature that we're creating. So it's up to us to define this. What's something that looks similar? Well, we're toggling the priority of a button. It turns out we already have a function called toggle completed. Let's take a moment and look and see what that looks like. And that's just down below here. Toggle completed is a function which says this dot model, the thing that we clicked on is model dot toggle. So because we're on this wild goose chase, we have to go and see what that looks like. Now, where are we gonna find the toggle method on a model? My guess is it would be on the to-do model in to-do.js. So sure enough, our to-do.js file is not very big. It's just got this defaults thing and this toggle thing. And the toggle thing is exactly what we're looking for. It toggles the completed state of the to-do item. How does it do that? It says this.save completed is not this.get completed. Now, this is the kind of stuff that we don't necessarily know because we don't know Backbone very well. And it would be great to take a look and see what this.save does and how it works and this.get and how it works. So if I were you, I would go ahead and look them up. I'm not gonna look them up in this solution video, but suffice it to say this.save takes in a property here with a value and the value gets saved to the model. So this.save completed changes the completed value of our to-do. And what does it set it to? It sets it to not this.get completed. So if this.get completed returns true, we're setting it to false. If it returns false, we're setting it to not false or true. This is just basically a toggle, which is exactly why it's called toggle. If completed is true, it sets it to false. And if it's false, it sets it to true. And that's exactly how we want our priority thing to work. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a very similar kind of a thing here. I've got toggle, and I'm also gonna make a new thing that toggles the priority. So I've gotten this far, what do I wanna save it as? I'll say priority. Priority is going to be the opposite of this.get priority. Now, if I poke around the documentation for backbone models, I'll also find information on this guy right here. That's the defaults. When you make a new to-do, what are its defaults? It has a title of nothing, it has a completed value of false, and I also should add something for the priority. I'll say priority is false. Now I have something called toggle priority on our backbone model. So now when I create to-do items, they don't just have a completed state of false, they now always have a priority of false and they also have a function to toggle the priority. And that's exactly what we wanna make use of over here in our view. So instead of toggle completed function this.model.toggle, I'm gonna do the exact same thing but with toggle priority. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now one thing you'll notice is I'm being tofu even in my comment. Toggle the 
priority. And you'll notice I wrote this exactly the same way because in this case, the tildes on either side are saying this is code. And then the quotes are saying we're talking about a string. Same with editing down here in this comment. And so, of course, my comment is going to look exactly the same. I am missing a comma here. I better not leave that off. If I did leave that off, you'll find errors in the console, which is always a good place to check when your application doesn't work. And it would say, hey, something's wrong here around line 73. All right, so now I've got a toggle priority. I've got a toggle priority on the model, which I'm using right here. And let's go ahead and save it all and refresh. Sure enough, it does not work because I haven't finished wiring it up. The thing I forgot was here in events. I'm saying when I click on the priority button, what happens? Nothing yet. I need to say toggle priority. That's the name of the function or the method on the view down here that I just made. And that will toggle the priority of whatever element we're talking about, whatever to do we're talking about. Now, if I go and I refresh and I click, still nothing's quite working. Now, why would that be? I'm setting a priority state on the model anytime I click on the button. So either I did something wrong before, or I'm doing it all right, but I'm just not seeing it. As it turns out, the thing that I forgot is I forgot to actually show it here. That would go over here in index.html. Remember that the CSS was written so that way you would add a class of priority on the LI. So where in this LI template do we see the actual LI? Hmm, well, if we look around, we don't see it. It's kind of a problem, huh? So maybe this wasn't the right place to look for how to add the LI. So we've got the template. What else is responsible for rendering the elements? Let's take a look at the view again, our to-do view again. Once again, we're on this wild goose chase and we have to be a detective. Now, once again, I also want to remind you that this is just my process. This is how I would go about trying to figure this out, assuming that I hadn't done this before and I didn't know Backbone.js. If I had to work on this code base for months, I would learn Backbone. But until then, being a detective can be useful. So we've got our events thing, and that's for the actual click. How is it rendered again? Let's scroll down and see if we can find anything interesting. Well, here is render. That seems like exactly the kind of function we'd be looking for. So let's see what happens. There's this code here. We're going to ignore it because if you read this comment, this is just for fixing a little bit of a backbone local storage bug. So this isn't really interesting to the functionality of the application. This is the meat of it. It looks like it's taking this element, the actual element behind this, the li, and it's setting the HTML to the rendered template. It's also telling this element to toggle, to turn on or off the class of completed whenever this is true or false. Now it's also, wait, wait a second, wait a second, toggle class. That seems like something we might want to do. So what is this line doing again? It's setting a class of completed if this.model.get completed is true. Hmm. So if this model says that it's been a completed event, it adds a class of completed. We want to do exactly that, but for our priority button, Eureka. So let's see if this works. This dot dollar sign L. So that's the element itself dot toggle class priority. And it'll set that class of priority on or enable it if this.model.get of priority is true. Now let's see if that works. Let's hop back into our browser and try this one more time. I'm going to uncheck these. And if we hit the exclamation mark, sure enough, Eureka, it works. Now we can prioritize some of these. We'll say add a new feature is really important. And then as I check them off, the priority red goes away. And here's our add a new feature. Pat yourself on the back. We just added this feature and especially pat yourself on the back if you came to this kind of a solution on your own without looking at the solution video. Awesome work. Now, if you didn't, I would recommend, even though you know the solution now, going back and trying to do this by yourself without referencing my solution. 
do remember that the whole point is for you to be able to do this on your own, to be a detective on your own, and to implement functionality like Tofu, so your code looks like it's always been there. Good work.